it's nice to come to Sundance with something that everybody loves. Um, that's always that nervous thing when you toss it out there to, to, to the wolves. But if it never saw the light of day, I would still be thrilled to be a part of it because it's really a great movie. And, and um, John and all of these guys just kicked ass. Uh, it's actually based on a recurring stress dream that I've always had where I'm, uh, like since I was 10, like I've, I'm in my mom's car with my friend. He's driving. I'm really nervous. Uh, and we're not getting in trouble. We're not getting pulled over. Um, and then I wake up in a panic because, you know, I was just so worried. And I, I've had that dream for like my whole life. And then um, I started thinking there's something evocative about that. And I was like, what if it's a police car? How do these two 10-year-old kids get a police car? And then I presented it uh, to my, uh, my friend who I write with, Chris Ford. I'm, uh, <laughs> and uh, he was like, whose police car is it? And then we had a movie. So the movie is basically about these two 10-year-old boys find an abandoned cop car. And they did what any two, year, two 10-year-old abandoned boys would do. They would steal it. <laughs> and take it on a joyride. So we think it's abandoned. It ends up not actually being abandoned, and the story progresses from there. I just heard the story that John made a two-minute trailer and put it online and um, said that it was produced by Eli Roth, who had nothing to do with the trailer. And then Eli Roth called him and said, dude, you've got my name on your two-minute trailer. Why don't we meet? And why don't I make that movie for you? <laughs> yeah, like, this is my second movie. <laughs> <laughs> I made another movie yeah, yeah. called Clown. Any yeah. guy who can do that, I have the utmost admiration <laughs> for. And then I showed up and just fell in love with John. He's so awesome. And I loved my character. And I thought the movie kind of reminds me of like a Stand By Me and, a, you know, just but with a little bit more, maybe more, just some more scary <laughs> moments, so. I, I thought it was a script where th this is, uh, you know, forgive the pun, but you kind of had to read between the lines because there's not a lot of lines, you know? It's, 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 it's a lot of um, stuff that happens in, in without being said, um, certainly for my character, and I, I, I thought it had a really interesting, uh, fresh kind of um, vision. I mean, my big influence is like early Steven Spielberg. Um, just the way he worked with kids and the way he used the camera to tell the stories, uh, you, you know, E.T. Close Encounters, Duel, there's, I think, I think when you see it, you'll see uh, the influence. I just love him. And it, that and, you know, like a dash of Coen Brothers or something like that. But for me, I think this is an absolute, like, audience movie. Like, it's, it's going to be great to see with a crowd because it's like, there's a lot of excitement, uh, hopefully, in the film. You know, that's what we were trying to make.